Well, for today I've got the new fuel on. Um, Pre-filter, before the fuel pump, after the fuel pump, high pressure filter. Uh, this is the original fuel pump, which is dead, like we said. So I'm going to borrow the one off our turbo drag bike so I can be up and running. I had the injectors cleaned. Um, they said that they were stuck shut, so there was no way that the bike was going to run. So Trent from Bunbury Fuel Injection serviced those, so thanks for that. Let's put it together. First, first part we're going to do is to remove the old concrete fuel lines, so hard that I can't even squeeze them, and yeah, replace the them with some fresh stuff. Okay, so now the fuel lines are off, I will fit the injectors. I'm going to use these original short pieces just to get it running tonight, and then um, replace them later. So that's the cleaned injectors back on the fuel rail. These clamps are just for tonight's startup. I'll fit these uh, spaces and we'll put them back on the throttle bodies. Right, that was a piece of cake to put those in. So we'll put the bolts in and plumb her up. Okay, now to plug the wiring in. Right, injector wiring. So I've bolted the blower valve back on so nothing goes into the hole it connects to. I'll just sit the fuel pump on this piece of wood. That's as far as I can get it away from the bike that the leads will still reach. So fuel pump, filter, high pressure, um, all the way up to the fuel rail. Fuel tank, pre-pump filter, pump, high pressure filter, fuel rail, this line here will return back to the regulator, which is here. This line here, from the regulator, to the return in the tank. Okay, that's the last one. The return hose from the rail to the regulator. Have a look at it. So many hoses. Need to put a tow ball on it so it can take its fuel tank with itself. Connect up the fuel pump wires. Fill up the fuel tank. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's turn the key on and see if the pump works. There we go, she primed up. Cool. Well, first time in 10 years, let's hit the button. <laughs> 